We made some pretty public mistakes and we need to own them. I think it's really important to understand the great work of this agency, but also to admit to areas where we needed to improve. We owe that to the American people. Yeah, after trying to control our lives for three years, the CDC now says, whoops, sorry, we, we screwed that one up. Director Rochelle Walensky admitting her agency dropped the ball on the pandemic big time, saying the CDC failed to meet the moment and calling their own guidance confusing and overwhelming. Yeah, no kidding. But don't worry, Walensky claims everything will all be under control soon as uh, with an agency-wide reset. And Lord of the Lockdowns, Dr. Fauci himself, also poking his head out to defend the organization. When I think they should be commended in the fact uh, particularly Dr. Walensky, realizing and recognizing the shortcomings that have been there for quite a long time, long antedating Dr. Walensky's tenure. So I'm actually optimistic that given the fact that the problems have now been recognized, that there's a pathway to making a very good organization much better. Yeah, Dagan, uh, it sounds like uh, they're saying a bunch of nothing. Like, I, I, I have a short memory, but I remember the CDC absolutely saying one thing and then another and saying one thing and then another and all they're saying now is you know we're, we're bad at communicating um why is she still there <laughs> can i volunteer to fire her right now <laughs> you're fired you're fired get out tony fauci's leaving right get <laughs> out all i remember is march of last year when she was like <laughs> i mean i'm really upset about uh, what the future looks like this woman and all the people i love the it was an infrastructure problem our public <laughs> health infrastructure in the country was not up to the task no you weren't and the we no it's you i screwed up i set children back uh, their entire lives in terms of learning because they were kept out of school unnecessarily for a year and a half, even longer than that. They never ran the risk of con like contracting grave illness or even spreading it to adults, but they closed down schools because Randy Weingarten at the American Federation of Teachers told him to. How about just phone, given, uh, call in, say, the parents of children who kill themselves or tried to commit suicide because they were locked away from their friends? Um, how about apologizing to all the people who were fired across the country, teachers and firefighters and healthcare workers, because they didn't get the vaccine, which, again, only protects you from severe illness, it doesn't protect anybody else. These people need to be fired. They need to burn the entire CDC down and start all over. You Not know, literally, Jessica. <laughs> Katie, I guess we're going to bring in a, a bureaucrat from the, uh, from Obama's generation to come in and fix things. But when you look into this, they've spent tens of thousands of dollars not teaching Walensky how to lead, but just basic, basically con consulting on how to communicate that she is a leader. I think they just need to find a little bit of humanity and common sense. Uh, when the CDC had the science, they made the decision to follow the political science on a number of things. These guidelines were not just uh, confusing or inconsistent. They were inhumane and criminal and cruel. You had people dying alone in uh, nursing homes. Uh, you had people dying alone in hospital beds because they wouldn't let you go visit your loved ones in the hospital. You had women giving birth alone without their husbands and separated from their babies if someone tested positive for COVID in the maternity wards. They kept schools closed for years. And we know now that was a direct result of them listening to the teachers' unions. And then you had the crusade from the president of the United States and the full force of the federal government to try and run the unvaccinated, the great unclean, out of society to get them fired, to keep them out of restaurants, to keep them out of workplaces. And that's despicable. And so when it comes to what we know, we knew early on what the science was, and they refused to follow it on a number of these issues, and people's lives were changed in very terrible ways as a result. Greg, is there, is there less public trust in the CDC or the FBI right now, or is it kind of a race to the bottom? I don't know. I mean, I would prefer, I want to give them some advice, right? I have, what do I have here? I have five <laughs> suggestions, five suggestions, because it's a reset, and in a reset, they should listen to all points of view, and number one, you should... Uh, make a commitment to being apolitical. Don't talk to the teachers' unions. Reject the woke. So that just keep stay away from politics. If that means turning off the TV, we'll live with that. Don't chase zero risk because you'll end up undermining all of society. Zero, chasing zero risk, making sure there's no risk at all, is why they put sand 
in skateboard parks and why no one, no one could see their loved ones, right? You should put medical science in front of legal consequences. That's why we're shut down, right? Everybody's, everybody's more scared of lawyers and lawsuits than they are of disease. Again, if you're chasing zero risk, that, that means that puts you into the insurance companies and the, and the lawyers, and then you end up in some kind of like self-made prison. Then focus on high risk patients first, which which allows you to avoid the blanket recommendations for everyone. People have different risk uh, profiles. An obese 35 year old is way different than a 35 year old gym rat. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to say that because we were too scared. And I actually have to say it is oh, the last point is it's OK to change course. Science does that all the time. You can find out in a matter of weeks that you were wrong, but you have to do it for the data reasons. Not for the politics and not for fear. You, 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 you want to do it if the risk reduction is worth it and makes yeah. sense. I think I should run the CDC. I was about to say, I've never heard Walensky say anything. Down, yeah. <laughs> took a match but I, Jessica, I, Jessica, I was just making a joke. <laughs> Jessica, real quick. For two years, we, we as conservatives were, were told we were playing partisan politics by critiquing things like the CDC, and now they're kind of admitting to it. Uh, so do they need to apologize to us as well? Well, she did. You were allowed to tune into CBS. It's also, it's a free network. <laughs> well, my event. TV doesn't um, go there. Yeah. <laughs> really? It's a terrestrial yeah. channel. It definitely does. Um, so the big thing that people will <laughs> never forget is what happened to kids. I think that everyone can kind of stand what happened to adults who, oh, yeah. you know, weren't al I'm just saying that setting kids back especially when we knew things about the science of what, transmission outside. And that started yeah. very early. That was in the summer, right, that we knew that you could eat outside, which is why now here in New York City we have permanent outdoor dining, right, because that was yeah. something that was safe. Um, so that's something that I, I personally don't think will be forgiven on any of these levels. But it is important in these conversations to always consider the fact, and yes, most of them had complications, most were the elderly, yeah. but over a million Americans died because of this. It's not some invented thing, you know, that was never going to hurt anybody. And yes, the science changes, and people should move along with it and say, well, from what we know now, this is our best recommendation. Well, and those words would have helped so uh, much in temporary. A, a reset all of this. involves new faces, and I see Dr. Fauci all over the TV. He's retired. Stuff. Can I say two all words? Right. China virus. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.